Uh, I had a partner, uh, a life partner who died of AIDS in 1982. And after that, I had myself tested. There was no name for the disease. He was probably one of the first 10 or 25 people who died of the disease. And uh, after that, then I was still interested in state-of-the-art scientific investigation and in also having myself tested. It's a very traumatic thing to lose a lot of people. It's very traumatic to be tested again and again and wonder. And I kept turning up negative and then someone repeatedly, I heard people say, why aren't they following you? Why don't they test you? Because you're always negative. died of cancer, my sister has breast cancer, my father has a heart condition. I have nothing. I don't, I get the flu occasionally, but I really am very, so it probably, you know, it's, I have a good immune system. I just want to stress that there are viruses out there which can probably infect these people. It's just those are the ones which are not commonly transmitted. But I would caution on overinterpretation of what we report. But I don't want the world at large to believe we found the cure. It's not the case. So there is the danger that somebody who is already in denial will take that information and then go act out with unsafe sex. I'm always a little bit worried of people who, who do practice high-risk activity and haven't become HIV infected, that they'll assume that they're one of those people and continue to and maybe even escalate their high-risk activity. And then when they become infected, um, you know, it'll be the ultimate proof of failure. <laughs> 